Hi, and welcome to Protomotive. Let's play a horsepower game. We're going to guess how much power you can make in each scenario. After all, who doesn't want to make more power? We'll start this game with 100 horsepower. And for each correct answer, you get to double your horsepower. Let's take your 100 horsepower little monster and have some fun with it. Your engine is starting out as a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder, but apparently 100 horsepower isn't enough. You want more. So you install a turbo system on it with proper intercooling, compression ratio, fueling, and tuning. You did a really nice job, congratulations. You even got the whooshing and chirping noises you always wanted. Okay, here's your first question. If you bump your little monster to one bar of boost, assuming an ideal world of perfect efficiency, no losses, and assuming a little monster had no vacuum in the intake when it was naturally aspirated, approximately how much power would you make? Well, did you guess 200 horsepower? If you did, you get to double your horsepower. Wow, you've probably been tweaking the timing, changing throttle bodies, porting the intake, and anything else you could imagine on your 100 horsepower base engine, all for maybe another eight to 10 horsepower. But by adding the turbo on and running it up to one bar of boost, we're already at 200 horsepower. Not bad. All right, you're doing well. And since we're already turbocharged, power increases should come super easy, right? Well, let's see. You're loving the newfound power, but want more. So let's double the boost again from one to two bar. Yes, we've made all the correct mods to support two bar of boost so it doesn't blow up. We've thrown in some nice connecting rods, big head studs, MLS head gaskets, upgraded the fuel system and tuning, and made sure to have plenty of octane in there, either with meth injection or race fuel. Maybe you even went with E85. And again, we're assuming ideal models here and keeping the math super easy for you. So here's your second question. Since we literally doubled our power from naturally aspirated to one bar of boost, will we also double our power by doubling the boost from one to two bar? Are you making 400 horsepower now? Did we just double our power again? Well, no, but if you guessed 300 horsepower, you got it. Hmm. What's going on here? We doubled our power from 100 to 200 horsepower with no boost to one bar. Why aren't we doubling it again with another bar of boost? What's happening here is we're looking at a gauge that reads zero with no boost, but in reality, it should be reading one since zero means we're in outer space or in an absolute vacuum. I'm talking about absolute pressure readings now versus gauge. Most of the boost gauges out there read what they call gauge pressure rather than absolute, where most ECUs have MAP sensors, meaning manifold absolute pressure. And when your boost gauge is reading zero, your MAP should be reading somewhere close to one bar absolute. However, the nice part about boost gauges reading gauge pressure versus absolute is they always start from zero, regardless if you're at Bonneville Salt Flats or up in the mountains of Colorado. With this little tidbit of information, the math starts working out. In our first scenario, with our two liter naturally aspirated engine making 100 horsepower, we are really starting at one bar absolute and going from one bar to two bar absolute is doubling our pressure and in our ideal world also doubling our density so we get to double our horsepower where in our second scenario with our turbo two liter that was running one bar gauge which we now know is two bar absolute pressure when we went from two bar gauge or three bar absolute pressure we only gained 50 percent from two to three bar absolute so our power also would have got up in our ideal world 50% to 300 horsepower, not 400 like it would be easy to assume. So now that you're an expert, we have a third and final question. To double our power again from our turbo two liter that was making 200 horsepower at one bar gauge pressure, how much boost do we need to run? You're totally awesome, yes we would need to ramp it up to three bar gauge pressure, which is four bar absolute, to get our little two liter to 400 horsepower. So again, dealing with absolute pressure makes sense. Our original engine made 100 horsepower, naturally aspirated at one bar absolute pressure. It went to 200 horsepower by doubling the absolute pressure from one to two bar. Then to double it again, we'd need to double the boost on our absolute scale to a whopping four bar to get to doubling again and make our final 400 horsepower. 
Now, if you really want to confuse yourself, play that game in PSI. It gets really messy and you'll totally understand why I used the bar pressure scale instead. When you're calculating power gains, always remember to use absolute pressure for boost, even if it's a naturally aspirated engine. By doing this, everything scales properly. Our ECUs in our car do this thousands of times a second using absolute pressures and are able to accurately calculate the fuel requirements this way. And if you've watched our last video, you'll understand that the fuel requirements our injector duty cycle can be directly calculated back into a horsepower number. Let's take our duty cycle and turn that into power like we did over here, but in Excel. So our power equals our injector size, 2150 cc divided by 10.5 to get it into pounds per hour. Uh, we need to do that times six cylinders. Uh, we need to take that and divide it by our BSFC, which is 0 0.5. Take that times our duty cycle, um, divided by 100 uh, times 0 0.65. Well, eight, those are pump fuel numbers. There we go. 1197 crank horsepower peak. So if you got all the answers correct, you're actually way ahead of our example engine. After question one, you would have gone from 100 to 200 horsepower. Then after question two, you would have doubled it again to 400 horsepower, even though the example engine only made 300. And finally, after question three, you would have been at 800 horsepower. So I hope you put some drag slicks on your little monster because you're going for quite the ride. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this if you have any other questions and would like to see some other content in future videos.